The White House petitioned the government of Iran today to grant the wish of one American family with a Thanksgiving plea. Former FBI agent Robert Levinson has been held hostage longer than any other American, and his family is hoping tonight that the recent thaw in U.S. relations with Iran will bring him home soon. Here's ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. Please help me get home. As of today, no American has been held hostage longer than former FBI agent Robert Levinson. For him, it is day 2,455 since he disappeared in Iran. The once clean-cut 65-year-old Florida man, last seen alive in this video, released two years ago, appearing disheveled in a gray prison suit. 33 years of service to the United States deserves something. There were signs of some progress today, with an unusually delicate statement from the White House, respectfully asking, not demanding, that Iran help secure Levinson's safe return. It's a code word in Islamic Republic circles. It's a country that tends to be particularly sensitive about how it is approached and how you ask questions of it. Levinson was reported missing during the trip he took in 2007 to Iran's Kish Island as a private investigator after he had retired from the FBI. Iran has denied holding him, but U.S. investigators don't believe that. Levinson's family hopes the seeming thaw in U.S.-Iranian relations could lead to his release, although U.S. officials said today his case was not part of the recent talks in Geneva. But we have raised, um, repeatedly uh, raised his case. Iran has admitted holding at least two other Americans. Amir Hekmati, a former Marine of Iranian descent from Michigan, visiting his grandmother but accused of being a spy. And Saeed Abedini, an Iranian-American pastor from Idaho, sentenced to eight years in prison for establishing churches in Iran. Levinson's wife, Christine, told me today this seventh Thanksgiving without Bobby will be almost impossible to bear, as it will be for the other two families as well, George. So hard. Okay, Brian, thanks very much.